My mustache is freezing. How about yours? It's not warm. No, I got icicles coming, like booger sickles. Oh, do you really? Disgusting. It's a little early. Gross. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're out on a brand new body of water. I've actually never fished this before, even in the kayak, nor from the bank. Uh, and we're looking for some keepers. Maybe, maybe some toothy critters. We're looking for all sorts of stuff. Point is, brand new body of water. We don't even have depth charts for this. So we're learning as we go. We're gonna dig some holes. We're gonna drop the Vexi in. And we're gonna try and find structure, find spots where fish should be. And hopefully we get into some gosh dang slabs, y'all. Maybe some toothy critters. What do you think, guy? I certainly hope so. Paul certainly hopes so. Paul's, Paul's having a day so far. Tell, tell me about your day so far. So, all of the, all of the wax worms uh, within what, the like state. a 30 mile radius. In the whole state. I think they're all serviced by the same supplier, but all of them are dead. Uh, the supplier actually came back and like cleaned out all of the gas stations in the area. So I hit three spots on the way, which I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, but that took like an extra 15 minutes yeah. well, on an already late morning. So uh, we missed first light, which whatever, we'll survive. I'm just anxious to get on the water, but yeah, all the wax worms are dead. So I have green worms. Here's the deal, guys. We're gonna walk you through our process as we get out there. And uh, nice thing is, not much wind today, so I think the audio quality is gonna be much better than our last video. Let's go have some fun. Let's have fun. So what we're doing, you guys, is we are we're on new water, right? So we don't know what we're what you know uh, we don't have a specific spot to go to so we're looking for a couple things we're trying to find panfish uh it's very early ice for the most part these lakes have only been frozen enough to really safely fish on for two weeks at the most uh, maybe two to three weeks so uh those fish are not they're not driven down deep this lake is not a basin lake there aren't like a bunch of bowls for you to kind of go hit up and like work your way down in depth. That's not what this is. There's actually a big sand flat right here, um, but there's also a big weed area right over here. So what I'm looking for is I'm gonna start with the shallow water. We are gonna dig a lot of holes and we're gonna look for a spot to get to. Now the caution here is if you dig too many holes and you're too loud, you're gonna spook those fish off. Yeah. So what's gonna happen is you'll dig a hole, those, those, those fish could go because it's shallow, they could go 50 you know, yards away from you. So what you wanna do is dig three holes, wait maybe a minute or two, go back and check your first hole and start looking for those marks. I'm looking for the weed edge in between the sand flat and what, what we know is a big drop off over here. I'm gonna start with the shallow areas and we're just gonna kind of work our way and dig holes until we find some marks and start fishing them. So let's get to digging. I drew first blood. <laughs> we got our first perch. Not mad about it. Not a giant. So we're gonna let him go because it is cold. See you, buddy. So the deal was hiding that trouble. I think really helped hiding it in a worm. Not even a wax worm. Just a regular old well, a green worm, which I have no idea what that means. So if you know in the comments, let me know. But I have no idea. But I know this. That perch came up and ate it. We ended up in, what are we in, Jeff? We're in 20, we're at 18 feet of water. Not a ton of marks by any stretch, but they're down there, that's for sure. Dude, I have a ton of marks. Okay, getting bit. Come on. Make a commitment, nerd. Got him. Little perch. Yep, <laughs> I found the baby perches. <laughs> <laughs> well can't eat you but that's okay there we go you guys that would be the dinkiest perch you done ever did see bye buddy hope you find your dad yep there's another one got him and we're back yay <laughs> it was even smaller <laughs> Well, this is the opposite direction that you want to go. 
<laughs> Ice fishing is fun. Got him. I am the perch whisper. <laughs> oh God. I'm just doing a, a cool 360 view of you. All right, midday update, time check. Uh, later. Later than it was 11. before. It's almost 11 o'clock. Uh, so we've been hunting around. We got into some tiny perch. Yes. Uh, I just jammed three on the same pink jig as we were rocking them on the other smaller last lake last week. Uh, right now we're thinking about going towards the shore a little bit more. I was having luck in 12 feet. Paul about was- 12 to 15. 12 to 15, yeah. So we're getting looks. We're not getting a lot of takes and anything that takes- It seems like they're moving. Small. It seems, it seems like, like there's like... a lot of moving, which means we need to move. Yeah, um, with them, we're chasing so. today. Yeah. So we're, we're getting our exercise in today is what's happening. And sometimes that's the, the case. So we're gonna run and gun here for a little bit. Work our way that way. Wind's picking up. That's great because wind chill is my favorite. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna eat a snacky poo on the route. Yep. Let's do it. Stay hydrated, eat food. You'll feel better. <laughs> I know you can't see us because of the sun, but we have we have not found anything in this our walk. Many. Zero. Zero point. Almost punched Paul in the face. Yeah. <laughs> zero point to zero, but we have had a snack. Uh, we got another plan. We're gonna do like a, a triangle. We're gonna work back towards the pullout um, on a different route. And we're gonna check those spots. So we're gonna check two points. Um, and my drill is dead, so we're down to one drill. So here we go. And then we'll just have to go crack open the holes we already dug if we get stuck. <laughs> my fingers, my fingers are crossed, you just can't tell. Mine can't cross with these gloves, I'm trying. Yeah, once I get their attention, they're on it. I caught one. Nice. Perch. Okay. It makes me feel a lot better. They're there. See you, dude. Got him. Go, oh, decent. Yep. Perch. Another perch. They, they're, dude, they're just schooling around. You got to get this like really active. The only thing I've got them on is like a super active jig. Later, nerd. Yeah, everything else has been useless. They'll swoop in out of, not out of nowhere, but kind of out of nowhere. Lake ain't got no fisher. <clears throat> so what happened today? <laughs> well, we went fishing. Um, so we hit the ice today. We do what we said we're gonna do. We're gonna try a new yeah. spot. We got to the new spot. We were feeling cocky, I was optimistic. excited, um, confident. You know? We quickly found ourselves in five feet of water with lots of vegetation, we're which is it. actually- We're on it right now. Yeah. I can see everything on the bottom right so now. So our initial plan hitting the water was drill a lot of holes, yeah. Be okay we with did. be okay with not finding anything. Yep. Um, try and learn the water, learn some of the depth and the contour, and maybe how the fish act on the water. That was sorry. Okay. That was really maybe the only goal. <laughs> we burned two batteries on drills. So yeah, and to, they were both the big amp ones. To prove the fact that we drilled a lot of holes, we had four amp batteries. Yeah. Um, I am an iceberg. Jeff is an iceberg. We killed both of those batteries uh, I drilling broke holes. My Oh. 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 Uh, that hurt a lot. Our strategy for drilling holes was basically running a zigzag, work yep. our way from shallow to deep, and what we were looking for, what we thought we might want to see for early ice uh -huh. is find a weed line where the weeds kind of started, yep. maybe more on the shallow side. I would that was say a struggle, seven to 10 feet, something like that is what we were, 12 feet is what we were looking for. 
it became yeah. it became evident that we did not have a map for this lake, and I looked for one very briefly, didn't find one, but yep. we uh, we did not find that. We, maybe once or twice we found a spot we just like found that. Weed patches, yeah. And, like that's where we would get into a couple perch. Mm -hmm. That was it. It was yeah. like your best bet today was a couple perch on a spot. Eighty percent of the holes we dug uh, yielded sand or hard bottom, and and no, no life. and no life at all. Now I will say this. To me, this is like kind of a standard early ice midday because I yeah. like to be for early for early ice. I like to be early in the morning or, late. Uh, or maybe late uh, yeah. right before sundown. I think is when you're going to see the big fish come out. Yep. So what did we see today uh, from 930 until Dinky almost dues. two small fish that were not congregated um, and they yeah. were you had to call them in. I think the way I found those fish was um, big, huge, aggressive jig, like a couple yeah. feet. Like and they're then, just schooling around. And then one of them would be like, oh, I really was looking at that. And then would come <laughs> up and just hammer it. Yeah. Um, so that was really, or calling them in with something like the perch yeah. talker um, or, a, or a big like flamboyant spoon. Like that was really the only things that, you that worked. Flamboyant spoon. Flamboyant spoon. You like that? Flamboyant spoon. I like to use my entire vocabulary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that was really the only thing that did it. So uh, lessons. Yeah. Lessons for, t I would actually call today a success. I mean, I feel like we learned that maybe this is, unless you're running tip ups in like a spot that you know is kind of like high percentage, probably not a lake I want to come jig. I'm not going to come back here and jig anytime I, soon. <laughs> not anytime soon, I don't think. Yeah. Um, maybe late season. Yep, uh, but, that, but that's, I mean, that's a win though, because this is yep. close ish to where we are. It's kind of a lake we've had our eye on, um, but yep. not one that I think I'm going to be like, I'm going back there tomorrow. No. Um, and not because we didn't catch fish, I want to be clear. Mostly because we didn't find the hot spot. Like just we didn't nothing. Yeah, it was tough to find like maybe a rock pile um, or just something that you could be like, okay, like there was one area where I found a bowl. <laughs> yeah. Like one spot where it was like six feet all around it and ten feet right in the middle. That's right. maybe the only place I would look yeah. for here again. So just didn't seem to be enough contour changes, yeah. weed lines. We couldn't find the weed lines. Definitely, t that hey. screams tip up to me. Yeah, if we could find it. The other thing was we did not have live bait again. I know we mentioned it in the beginning of the video. The waxies are still dead. But the, there's, a, there's a waxy pandemic. But, <laughs> <laughs> I say flamboyant. He looks at me sideways. Three minutes later, he comes back with waxy pandemic. It's a waxy pandemic. Um, but, They're all dead. <laughs> the, all the ones where I live are dead. And, but we did. Uh, we we okay. We did though. Uh, I did buy some worms, and we actually caught on the worms. Uh, you they did. stayed alive. I didn't catch on the worms. But catching on worms was that definitely was uh, yeah. for me at least the ticket. Ooh. It was at that point in the day that the file was corrupted, <laughs> so I do not have the footage for the rest of that video. I mean, you guys already saw the recap. You saw that we really struggled to catch fish. You saw that we dug a ton of holes and you saw that Jeff hurt himself. So all in all, so far, great video, standard, uh, aggressively average anglers, Paul and Jeff. Um, the one thing I wanna say is and how I wanna close this video out is um, when you're ice fishing, um, whether you have electronics or not, and electronics are huge, whether you have electronics or not, uh, the most important thing on early ice is to be okay drilling a ton of holes, uh, chasing moving fish, and just don't assume that they're going to be either super shallow or pro they're more than likely not going to be super deep. So be okay searching, learning about a new body of water. Um, again, whether it's new water or uh, you know early ice, it's basically all new water at that point anyways. Um, new water can be very challenging and it's okay. Even if you have you know six, seven years under your belt ice fishing, you're going to have some tough days. Um, try and stay positive. Try and have some fun. You saw us filming some TikToks out there having a good time. Um, you, that's what's most important. And so uh, be okay learning, be okay not catching a ton of fish, and then come back next time, whether it's the same lake or your next lake, knowing that those fish are going to be in their winter patterns soon. They're real deep winter patterns. They're going to be rolling deep, looking for guaranteed forage. Um, so until they get there, dig a ton of holes, stay persistent, and be okay not catching a billion fish. So that's the video that we have for you. Apologies for not uh, keeping it all on the ice today, uh, but thanks for sticking with us. Please, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe, smash the like button, hammer that notification bell so you can see when we post the next video with a decent outro, uh, and we'll catch you all out on the hard water.